Today we are going to make a cube full of optical illusions. We are going to need our OptCube printout, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, fine tip markers, an optical illusion guide, and clear tape. First you need to select the first illusion that you want to create. Then reproduce the design into one of your cubes. Take your time with your pencil and ruler. Here is an example of the bulging pattern design. You start with a shape in the center that you want to have come off the page. Then you draw horizontal lines through the background. Then you draw slightly curved lines either up or down connecting the horizontal lines of the background. This will make the shape appear to have depth. You can further this illusion by adding shading along the edges of your shape. Here is an example of a type of vanishing wave illusion. You place a vanishing point anywhere on your cube and draw several straight lines toward the point. Then you will alternate between curved in and curved out lines as you travel around the vanishing point. Here is an example of one type of vertical line op art. You draw several vertical lines across your cube and pick a midpoint line somewhere along them all. Above the line, draw small curves up the line and switch the curve to the opposite direction below your central line. Complete the pattern. Here is a basic example of a checkered pattern design. Make any shape in the center and draw horizontal and vertical lines over the shape and background. This illusion is created by the use of positive and negative space along the edges of the shape. Any box that is intersected by the shape will have half of one color and then switch to the other, so the patterns between the shape and the background are opposite. Here is an example of a vanishing line checkerboard. You will want to imagine or pick a vanishing line outside of your cube and then draw several straight lines evenly spaced towards it. Then draw some perpendicular lines over the diagonal lines you created. This will make a checkerboard. Here is an example of another common op illusion. You start with a cross. Then you create dots along the lines at equal measure. Then, with your straight edge, you make straight lines from the point farthest from the center of the line to the point closest to the center of the next line. The lines will cross in a way to give the illusion of a curve. This can be done with any type of shape to create unique designs. Op art works best with contrasting colors, like black on white, yellow with purple, green with red, and blue with orange. The contrasting colors make each other brighter to our eyes. The contrast can also be done with warm next to cool colors. Warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. Cool colors are blue, purple, and green. When you have finished your cube, you're going to cut it along the outside lines. Be careful not to cut off the tabs. Then you will want to fold your paper along each of the lines so that you can put your project together as a cube is shown. Tape all the seams closed.
You have finished your op art cube.